Finally, Europe joins the One UI 8 party as Samsung's latest update spreads fast. The stable One UI 8 rollout is now officially expanding into Europe. After debuting in South Korea, the software moved into India, and now Galaxy users in Germany and the UK are receiving it. Beta participants are already enjoying early access worldwide. Owners of the Galaxy S25, S25 Plus, and S25 Ultra in Europe can now upgrade to One UI 8 at no cost. This update is based on Android 16 and comes bundled with the September security patch. Samsung is also enhancing Galaxy AI with new tools and improvements. Those who were part of the beta program are being prioritized. Their phones are shifting from beta to stable through an incremental update. The package size is nearly 566 megabytes and ends with PDA build BY3. For users who skipped the beta program, there's no need to panic. Samsung is quickly broadening the One UI 8 rollout. Devices in India, Germany, and the UK that didn't join the beta will soon start receiving the stable firmware. Remember, the beta program was active only in six regions, Germany, India, Poland, South Korea, the UK, and the US. With three already upgraded to stable, the US looks set to be the next in line. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section. Samsung finally drops the bomb. The official One UI 8 rollout roadmap is here. Samsung has officially revealed the release timeline for One UI 8 across Galaxy devices. The Android 16-based update kicked off with the Galaxy S25 series on September 15, with more phones and tablets lined up for October and November 2025. September 2025, according to the Korean rollout plan, four models of the Galaxy S25 lineup are included in the September schedule. The rollout has already started in South Korea, with a wider global push expected by September 18. Galaxy S25, Galaxy S25 Plus, Galaxy S25 Ultra, Galaxy S25 Edge, October 2025. October will be packed with updates as Samsung gears up to release One UI 8 to multiple flagships, foldables, and mid-rangers. The rollout list covers the Galaxy S24, S23, and S22 series, along with the Z Fold and Z Flip lineup. Galaxy S24 series, Galaxy S24 Fan Edition, Galaxy Quantum 6, Galaxy S23 series, and S23 Fan Edition, Galaxy Quantum 5, Galaxy Tab S10 Plus, and Tab S10 Ultra, Galaxy Tab S10 Fan Edition and Fan Edition Plus, Galaxy Tab S10 Lite, Galaxy A36, Galaxy Z Fold 6 and Z Flip 6, Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition, Galaxy Quantum 4, Galaxy S22 Series, Galaxy Tab S9 Series, Galaxy Tab Active 5, Galaxy A35 Jump, Galaxy Tab S9 Fan Edition slash S9 Fan Edition Plus, Galaxy X Cover 7 Pro, Galaxy A53, Galaxy Quantum 3, Galaxy Buddy 4, Galaxy A34, Galaxy A25, Galaxy Wide 8, November 2025. By November, even more devices will join the rollout, including older foldables, tablets, and entry-level phones. Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Z Flip 5, Galaxy Jump 3, Galaxy Tavis 8 Series, Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Z Flip 4, Galaxy A15, Galaxy Buddy 3, Galaxy A16, Galaxy A24, Galaxy A33, Galaxy Wide 7, Galaxy Jump 2, Galaxy Tab Active 5 Pro, Galaxy Tab A9 A9 Plus, Galaxy Tab A11. Interestingly, the roadmap skips a few models like the Galaxy S21 Fan Edition, likely due to pending confirmations. That device should still appear in the global rollout schedule, which Samsung is expected to publish soon alongside possible updates to the Korean timeline. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section.